She has been very busy. She just secured funding to build clinics on tribal lands. Our Arizona Senator Martha McSally also leading the charge to shine light on sexual abuse cases in the military. Thank you for your work so far in Washington. Sure. Thank you for stopping by ABC 15 Mornings. She, I said, so, you know, what's an average day like for you? She says, well, just Tuesday alone. Yeah, it was amazing. Tuesday, I was uh, chairing a meeting at the Pentagon with the acting Secretary of Defense on my right, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs on my left, all the military service secretaries and chiefs and other generals that were part of a task force I asked them to create to address the issue of sexual, sexual assault in the military. So they were briefing me on what their recommendations are to address this issue and provide justice and support to victims and stop sexual assault. And then Tuesday afternoon, I was invited to the White House to talk about the issues on our border and also how to modernize our legal immigration system and bring it into the 21st century. So that was just one day in Washington, D.C. It can be a really frustrating place, but I, would, I was honored to be at the table for you know, those important issues. Both sides, Republicans and Democrats, uh, we are concerned, all of us collectively, about what is happening with immigration. Yep. I know it is a very big question, is a very big topic, but in a nutshell, yep. what is happening? What can be done? So what we've seen is 100,000 people just last month were apprehended at the border. So what's happening is there's loopholes in our laws that are actually incentivizing more illegal activity and cartels are profiting off this. It's a humanitarian crisis, but it's also a national security crisis. And we Border Patrol is overwhelmed. They have to release people nearly immediately, and they're just being released into the streets, which is why Yuma is also declaring an emergency. So we in Congress have to close these loopholes. Yeah. I mean, it's not complicated. They need to stop playing games. Both sides of the aisle come together, close the loopholes, and modernize the legal immigration system while giving Border Patrol what they need to secure our border. This is so frustrating that something that used to be unifying that is really impacting our communities somehow has become a partisan issue. So come to the table and let's fix the problem. We've got the legislation. Want to talk about international business right now. A major headline is what yeah. is happening between the Trump administration yeah. and China, these tariffs. I mean, yeah. this is a headline we used to read about tariffs, tariffs, but this will affect everyday people. What can people expect when it comes to our wallets? Yeah, I, look, I'm concerned about these tariffs for sure, but big picture, China has been cheating for decades and I appreciate the administration is trying to take them on. They They've been stealing our technology breakthroughs in America. They've been, you know, using government-run businesses to be able to, you know, compete and uh, lead on, on issues that help their economy. So they're trying to take them on. I am a free trader, a fair trader at, at heart. Uh, we need to crank up the pressure and have a breakthrough because we can't have this hurt Americans while they're working through the negotiations. But for decades, they've been cheating and it's been hurting Americans and it is a national security issue. So hopefully we can get a breakthrough soon so it's uh, better for America and Arizonans. It was part of what he ran on, right? He also, yeah. the president talked about healthcare. You ran on this issue as yeah. well. Interesting revelation when it comes to the rising cost of healthcare and prescriptions. Yesterday we talked about a story with television ads and these companies now being forced to say how much it costs yeah. for their drugs. I, everywhere I go, I've been around all 15 counties in my first 90 days in Arizona just to listen to Arizonans. And top of mind for everyone is the cost of health care and health insurance, the cost of pre prescription drugs in particular. So we've got to shine a light on the real cost. We've got to have more choice and competition. And people shouldn't have surprise bills. So let's have transparency and let people shop around. More competition for generic drugs. I mean, this is a real issue that's life-threatening for some people and obviously life-changing for those with chronic diseases. So I am all for more transparency and more choice for Arizona so that they can afford the health care for their loved ones. To survive. Yes. All right. I, we could talk for a very long time about a variety of topics. Hopefully I can catch up with you during yes. the break and nail you down for a, a long interview. We'll share that on our website. Uh, we appreciate your time this morning so much. What do you do for your energy? Because I don't know how. I mean, it, wow. Yeah. you got to have a lot of caffeine. So well, anyway, you know, it's I flew, interesting. I flew back last night, my 28th trip across the country, but I work out every day okay. and coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> All right. Martha <laughs> McSally, thank you. Thanks. Allison?